Hey, did you make off with that armor while none of us were looking? Because I've got to admit, you look pretty snazzy in it. He didn't steal it, if that's what you mean. Bregan gave it to him as a parting gift. Ah, right. Although it makes sense, I guess. It's like a symbol of rebellion in its own way. Which is why it should have been your father wearing this, not me. I don't know. I don't think he could have pulled it off like you, man. I wonder what the last wearer of this armor was dreaming of for Cislodia when they decided to rise up and fight. Who knows? Anyone who could have answered that is long gone. Truth is always lost with the departed. Are you saying there's no point in trying to understand why they gave up their lives? No. Only that it's impossible to know for sure. Look, I can tell that you're concerned about Cislodia's future. But we do have other things to take care of. You can't shoulder all of the world's problems, Alfin. If you try to, you'll only find yourself buried by the weight of it all. Yeah, I know. My path is forward, and I'll do what I can, here and now. You were born in Calaglia, right, Law? Hmm? Oh, yeah. It's scalding hot all the time there, so I was shocked when I learned Cislodia is the exact opposite. Not to mention dark. Not anymore, thankfully. How did you even manage to cross the border between realms? All five realms are supposed to be closed off, due to the nature of the crown contest. What? Is this an interrogation now? I didn't mean it like that. I just figured if a Danon like you was able to slip between realms, it could come in handy later. Ah, good thinking. I don't think I really did anything all that creative, though. What? Don't tell me you climbed over the walls of fire. Oh, hell no. Not even Zoogles could do something that crazy. Nah, I stowed away. In what? Oh, you'll like this. The realms don't maintain much contact with each other, but there are resources each is looking to trade for. So, there are cargo convoys from each of the lords that go around a few times a year to lend those resources to each other. Oh yeah, I remember hearing about that. That was the only time the gates of Calaglia would ever open up. Right. Obviously, they don't let Danons ride with them. So I snuck on board inside some cargo instead. So you were carried out of the realm? You did great not getting caught. Way to go. Eh. Let's just say I've always had a knack for sneaking around since I was little. I was also really desperate to get the hell out of Calaglia at the time. I had more guts than brains that day. If I had a guess, I probably wasn't the first one to ever do something like that. Danon or Renan. I wonder if that's how Menic, I mean, Ganabelt, was able to hear about what happened in Calaglia so quickly. So in other words... We should always assume that the enemy is informed about whatever it is that we may be up to, wherever we go. Hmm. 
Thanks for letting me stick around, you guys. Sure. We're happy to have you. But are you sure you don't want to head back to Calaglia? Yeah. I'm not sure how I can help yet. But for now, I'm going to follow Alfin and see what happens next. Where does that drawbridge connect to? No idea, but I've seen it get lowered. It can't be lowered from this side anyway, so it's useless to us. Phew, what a rush. I won't forgive you! Here I come! He's there. Uh -huh. They're surrounding us! Bring Bring fire. Fire. Onward and upward. here. Let's move. I'm right behind you, Shion. It'll be a breeze. Get in, get out. I never miss. Head, head to the wind. Take this. Air They've got me surrounded. Rising Phoenix. Here I come. Slack. Try this. Your power is a spectacle to behold. I won't forgive you! Together, that wasn't even a problem. fish swimming around in this pond, huh? Are they edible? Sure, they're edible, but we've got no way to catch it. <gasps> who, 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 who? Huh? I think someone's calling out who, for us. They who, could who, have something they need who, from us. Who, 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 who? Maybe something's going on in the forest. Huh. <sighs> What's wrong? <laughs> hey. Ah! 
sight. Right. Nice work. What? Hey! Well? Hmm. What? What? Very nice. <laughs> Boy, talk about a spry old man. I can't wait to see him again. You really liked that apple pie, didn't you?
Have you guys checked your equipment lately? I guess even someone as fashionable as you wouldn't know a whole lot about Dan and armor, right? Not really, no. Like, what's with that scarf? I don't remember that being with any of the armor we found back there. Oh, well, remember how you told me you thought I'd look good wearing some blue? I took your advice to heart and decided to give it a go. Uh, oh, I see. Well, it suits you. Would you say I've learned to spruce things up like you suggested? I wouldn't go that far. Where you can't walk five steps without tripping on a zoogle. This is getting old. Yeah, but wasn't it you Renans who brought the zoogles here from Rena in the first place? They're not just ordinary animals from Rena. Each of them has been modified to suit a particular purpose. In fact, some zoogles were originally derived from the animals on Dana, or so I've heard. What? You Renans couldn't stop at just the people of this planet? You had to screw with our nature, too? You can get angry all you want, but we have bigger fish to fry. So, are you going to work with me or not? <laughs> I will. It's in both of our own interests. All done. Come and eat. Mind if I join you, Law? Hey, Alfin. When do you find the time to train? What's brought this on all of a sudden? It's just, even without the Blazing Sword, you'd still be able to hold your own, right? But I never see you training. I'd hardly call it a regimen. Unless exchanging blows with Zoogles counts. I mean, sure, I get that real-life practice beats training any day. But you must have the odd trick or two up your sleeve. I just told you. I really don't. Wait, I've got it. It's your armor, right? You channel the extra weight into your strikes and... It's actually not as heavy as it looks. So not the armor, huh? In that case... <sighs> just calm down a little, would you? Why are you so fixated on this anyway? Well, because I want to make myself stronger. You're strong enough as it is. I almost feel sorry for those Renan soldiers. It's not enough. I need to keep working to get stronger. I won't allow myself to fail anyone again. Law? I'm useless the way I am now. If someone else dies because of me... Law! Uh, uh, sorry. Spiraling into self-doubt won't do me any favors. I know that. None of us are invincible, Law. We're all just getting by, doing the best we can. That's all we can ask of each other, right? It's as good a place as any to start, I guess. To start what? My new training regimen, of course. And what better way to kick it off than push-ups? One, two, three, four... <laughs> I admire your enthusiasm. Just don't overdo it, okay? Just wait. You'll see how strong I can get. Night. I feel pretty refreshed after that sleep. <laughs> 